Alright, when we left off the last of the video series on sheet metal, uh, I had built that transition at the top. But I didn't feel like it was uh, finished, so I went ahead and built a transition at the bottom. It's mirror image and back up. You can kind of see what it looks like. So, there you go. That's what it should look like. But today, what we're going to do is we're going to do a simple center line transition. Got one of my old cases from a coil. I got my furnace. My furnace is 21 inches wide and the uh, coil is uh, 14. So we're going to transition from there to there. We're going to just make it 8 inches high simple center line transition to save me a little work we're gonna make the transition first we're gonna make the, the back piece and side pieces and then uh, we'll set the coil case on top of it then we'll make the bottom piece because as you can see the front of the coil case is uh, longer so the coil is actually longer than its furnace we're gonna get the sides made first in the back and we will set the coil on top and then make the bottom piece or make the front piece um, now I'm going to try to go in more detail as I'm building these transitions um, I probably should have started with the simple transition first and then move to filter part but I didn't so there you go we'll have a better understanding of how this stuff gets built as we're doing the transition for this so the first thing we're going to get started with is the measuring of the furnace. Um, just we have 19 and a half inches. That's where our first measurement is going to be, 19 and a half. Um, so if you come over here, you see it's it's like 20 and three quarter uh, or 20 and seven eighths. But we're not worried about that measurement at all. All we're worried about is the measurement from here to here. So that is 19 and a half. So we've got our scrap metal here. So what we're going to do is we know that um, the this is 19 and a half inches wide. Remember, always measure twice, cut once. So it's 19 and a half. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark our line here. That's our bottom line. And this is, since this is a center line transition, we're going to go up like that, and we're going to go up like that, and we're going to draw a line across the top. So, so 19 and a half. Okay? And then we know the top is 14, um, and we'll get a measurement on that here in a second just to verify, but but it definitely is 14. So, um, 19 and a half and 14. Now we want to be eight inches, because remember I said we're going to do an eight inch transition. Um, so that's eight. So, now the, the measurement we have to get is from, from here to here. Let's we'll see, what is that? It's three quarters of an inch. And what we need that measurement for is so we can screw to something. Remember, this is against the wall. As you see, it is against the wall. And generally, that's where they're at. So that's why you always start with the back, because you can't get around the back. So, um, so what we need to do is we need to make a flange here, which is three quarter, and a flange here, which is going to be one inch. And what we're going to do on this is we're going to actually when we build our transition we're going to fold the flange down and that's how we're going to do these transitions here we're going to fold the flange down so the coil has something to set on top of um, so our total measurement for the for the top to bottom or the bottom to the top is eight add your one inch for your flange and then your three quarter so that's nine and three quarter um, total nine and three quarter and then um, since our longest measurement is right there is 19 and a half we're going to need an inch here 
and an inch here. So, so you take 19 and a half and you add an inch and add another inch. So that would be what? 20 and a half, 21 and a half inches. So we need a piece of metal 20 and a half by 9 and 3 quarter. Okay? So let's go lay this out on the floor. Alright, so what we got going on here is we're going to start, and this is like I said, this is a simple, simple center line transition. Um, so let's get started. So we know that we need to go eight inches up, but we're going to start with a three quarter inch line. So there's three quarter here. That's going to be this three quarter line, remember, is what's going to be on the uh, uh, drill screw to the furnace. So that's three quarters. Get my straight edge here. Um, Alright, so there's my straight edge. Alright, so that's that. I right. go up eight and three quarter. Because your three quarter and this makes eight inches. See, eight inches. So let's do the same thing over here. Get rid of our straight edge. Do the same thing over here. Three quarter and then eight and three quarter. Okay. Get your lines lined up. Mark it. Okay. But now we need to do an inch. So we're at eight and three quarter. So we need to do nine and three quarter. Remember, that was our, our total me measurement. So that's nine and three quarter, right there. Then once again, line line up. It's going to go from here to here. So, so we need one inch first. So that's one inch right there. Then, so we need a 19 and a half inch piece. So we put, we've got our inch for our flange. So we need to add an inch to that 19 and a half. So we're going to make it 20 and a half. So that'll give you from there to there is 19 and a half inches. Um, and then, um, then you make your other uh, one inch line. That's 21 and a half inches wide. So that's 19 and a half inches from here to here. And then we have our one inch flange. All right, so since this is a center line transition, we figure what our, our center of, um, what our center is. So, Let's see, 21 is 10 and a half, and then, so it'd be 10 and 3 quarter. So, 10 and 3 quarter. So you can, you can check that by going to the edge over here and checking it. So that's 10 and 3 quarter. What you do then is you come over here and you mark 10 and 3 quarter. Okay? Then, since our top is 14 inches wide, you want half of that. So you mark it seven. Okay, and then while you're here, go ahead and do your 14, and then <clears throat> add your inch. So make that 15, and then you can actually come back over here and do a one inch. So that makes that, <clears throat> so that's that. Then you get your straight edge. Get your straight edge, and uh, Mark your line. There's one there. That's that. Same thing on this side. Um, you go to the corner here. Go to the corner. Like 
like that, and then go up. Same thing over here, get your, draw your other line, and that's that. Now we're going to cut this part out. video series is about. It's not about having a break on the job. It's about uh, getting to the job and being able to do it without a break. That's it. So that's our first piece. Alright, so you see we got our piece sitting there. And what I like to do when I'm doing these transitions like this on the furnace is I like to do the back piece from the inside. And the reason why is because I'm not using a head slot to do it. <clears throat> so I have something to screw um screw the metal to now you could if you wanted to you could use a piece of s-lock here but what would happen if you try to put this on from the back uh put put this piece on on the back side of flange when you go to drill what would happen is uh the metal would bow out so i just always do this right here Put one right here. And then do one right there. So that's our back crease. So now we're ready to get our measurement for the side. And we will start over on this side over here. All right, so now we're getting ready to do the side piece. Um, so we gotta take a couple measurements. You would think, that since this is a simple transition, a simple center line transition, that since the back was eight inches tall, you would think that your measurement from here to the top would be eight inches tall. But it's not, and the reason why is because every time you make an angle, your measurement grows. So we'll have to get our measurement and, and um, see how much it did grow. Now the cool part about doing this um, is this measurement and this measurement is going to be the same. The measurement on this side, on the left hand side of the furnace, and the measurement on the right is going to be exactly the same because it is a center line transition. So let's get our measurement um, from here to here. And the cool part is we get to be flat on the back. So from the back side back there, Let's do 19 and 7 eighths. Well, let's do 19 and 3 quarters. That way we have enough room for our um, uh, metal to go into the s lock and then wind up right here. So we'll do 19 and 3 quarters. Now, when you're making your measurements, um, let's move these screws out of the way. Put them down here on the toolbox. So, uh, alright, so we're doing our measurement. Now, let's go, uh, we're flat on the back, like that, and there's your furnace, the bottom, and then um, uh, the coil is a little longer than the uh, uh, furnace here. 
So make your line like that. So your metal is going to look like that, and then as you turn it around, it'll it'll be all right. So what do we say? 19 and three quarters. All right. And then the top, I already know it's 21 inches because I measured it a while ago, and and you'll see it here in, in a few minutes. 21 inches. Okay. Now let's see what our measurement from from here to there is. So from there to there is going to be it's uh right at nine or eight and uh, let's do eight and five eighths. And that way, if we need to, we can raise it up a little bit. So eight and five eighths. So you see, our measurement grew by doing our uh, so what did I say eight and five eighths. All right. So, and then we need an inch at the top. So that's uh, uh, nine and five eighths. And then uh, we need three quarter at the bottom. Um, so that would be ten and three eighths. So ten and three eighths. So we need a ten and three eighths piece of metal. Uh, and our longest. Uh, measurement is 21 so we need a 21 by 10 and 3 eighths.